Here are the items that you will need for your chocolate dip pretzels. You'll need some wax paper or some parchment paper or a si silicone baking mat, something that enables the pretzels not to stick. You'll need some pretzels. I use the twisty kind, a bowl, a glass bowl or a metal bowl works. Um, and then some melting chocolate. I use this dark chocolate from Ghirardelli brand. It's really good, but you can also use milk chocolate or white chocolate. You can use chocolate chips, but you'll have to add in a tablespoon of shortening with the chocolate chips so that they can be glossy and nice and smooth. For this recipe, we're gonna use the Instant Pot like a double boiler. So add in two cups of water into the bottom of the Instant Pot and turn your Instant Pot to the saute setting and adjust it to more. Then find a glass bowl or a metal bowl that will fit nicely right on top of the Instant Pot. You see how it doesn't fall in, it just kind of sits right there. The water's gonna heat up and we'll pour the chocolate into the bowl and the water will steam up and the bowl and get the chocolate all melty and delicious, but it won't m burn the chocolate, which is the major problem when you're mi microwaving chocolate or trying to cook it in a pan on the stove. It just scorches so easy and burns and it just does not taste good. Still one of those chocolates for good measure. Eat it right now, I dare you. And then just wait a couple minutes until the chocolate starts melting. Every couple minutes, come back with a spoon and just stir it as those chocolate discs melt. The water's really heating up, so I turned the saute from the more button and I adjusted it down to the less button. And I'm just gonna keep stirring it until it's totally melted and smooth. Once the chocolate is totally melted, Turn off your Instant Pot and then click it over to the Keep Warm setting. This will ensure that the chocolate stays melted and doesn't harden up while you're trying to dip your pretzels, but it's not gonna be boiling away in there. Get a long sheet of your wax paper or parchment paper out and then get those pretzels ready. We're gonna need um, pretzels and then a fork to dip the pretzels with. Take one pretzel at a time and place it on your fork and then just kind of dip it into the chocolate. Get it nice and dipped. And then tap, 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 tap the sides of the bowl so that all the excess chocolate comes off. And then you can place it on top of the parchment paper. And then you're gonna repeat this process over and over until all the chocolate is used up. If you'd like, you can add sprinkles to the chocolate dip pretzels. Make sure to put them on the pretzels when the pretzels are still wet or they won't stick very well. Here we are at the very end of the chocolate, just trying to use all of it as much as possible. You might need to get some sort of rubber scraper and kind of scrape all the chocolate into the middle just so that there's enough to be able to dip those last pretzels into. The pretzels only take about 10 minutes to dry and then you can put them in an airtight container. I like to use these plastic baggies and um, sometimes give them away as Christmas gifts. Hope you like this video. We will see you next week. And make sure to join us on the 365 Days of Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel.